Hey there, toy fans. Uh, welcome back. Greetings, all that jazz. Um, I am Mark here at Mark's Toy Box, and my collection of toys that I keep saying I need to make a video for uh, keeps growing, so it keeps getting not opened, and I really needed to open something. So we're recording a video again today. And today we're opening up Storm Shadow. Now, uh, the G.I. Joe Classified Series, first one I ever bought, Snake Eyes, and I've been waiting for a Storm Shadow to go with him ever since. So here we are a couple years later, Storm Shadow in all his proper glory is finally coming out. And I found him at Walmart and he was so new on the shelf. When I went up to scan him, they had to get a manager to come do something because apparently it wasn't in the system just yet. So I'm very excited to have finally gotten this. I remember when they announced him, I was glad to get him. Um, and here he is. For this G.I. Joe Classified series, um, We've got some pretty decent box art on the sides. And then on the back, oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that epic battle right there in the center. And that's really what G.I. Joe is all about. I mean, I know it's about more than just Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes, but who cares about everybody else? Um, I have several of the classified series figures, but I will admit, Snake Eyes is the only Joe I have. And I'm not usually like this big fan of villains. But the G.I. Joe villains are just more fun <laughs> than the Joes themselves. Who all just seem to just be like, you know, hey, I'm a Joe and I'm going to do the right thing. Which is fantastic. We need more of that in this world. But uh, but the villains just have more fleshed out characters. And, quite frankly, Snake Eyes needs a proper, um, proper opponent. So here we go. All right. First of all, let's just let's just look at the figure right away. Right off the bat, he's got his hood sort of down. We've also got another hood. I'm not going to worry about putting this on because you, you know, I'd have to rip off the head, but um, hood up. So that's kind of cool that we get that we get that option. Um, with the hood down, we're obviously going to get a lot more range of motion in the head. Not a ton, but we get some. So that's nice. It's got a bit of a wiggle in there, so I think there's a little bit of side-to-side -side motion there. He's, you know, right at the rocks bearing it right there a little bit. Uh, you can tell that he's got uh, a really nice butterfly, and actually I like that the butterfly is actually sort of the sleeve itself there that has been cut off. That's pretty cool. That's a nice little detail and, and just making it nice and clean lines. Um, with this one, there's not a lot of paint. <laughs> Um, he's got his eyes, he's got the Cobra logo, looks perfect. Um, but, oh, I guess, yeah, there's, there's a lot of nice silver paint right there on this, so that looks nice. They could have just left that black, like sometimes they do with things. And then there's a bit of painting, sort of on his arm bracers and down here by his feet. Um, you can sort of tell that's designed to make it look texturized, that's pretty nice. So there's not a lot of paint, but what there is, it's very nicely done. Uh, the arms seem to go up to 90 degrees. Maybe a bit more, but not much more. We got a bicep cut. Got pinless, double jointed elbows. Don't get much further than that. I mean, his arm itself is what sort of keeps him from bending it any more than that. So that's good. Um,. We have an ab crunch. So there's no diaphragm joint in this one. Uh, you see that in some of the more recent Marvel ones, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, it's the same thing that... Ab crunch is the same thing that we've got on Snake Eyes, so might as well make them equals. Does not appear to be a waist swivel. Or if there is... No. I mean, look at that. There's a cut there, so... There's just not a lot of play right there, and I don't really want to rest at it too much more. I want to see, do his... The hips... Uh, well, for one, let's, I guess let's go this way. He can basically do a full split. So yeah, he's got some drop down in the hip there. That is nice. That is very nice. Articulation in the hip for a ninja. You're going to want that. 
got a thigh cut right there. Double jointed pinless knees again. Get a full bend out of that. And then just nice standard Hasbro feet on a pin, on a swivel. So there we go. Now, both these mortal enemies are uh, ninjas. So they got all sorts of weapons right off the bat. He's got his quiver and his knife holsters. Sheaths. They're called sheaths. <laughs> Sorry. It fits right on a hole in the back. And there's one hole there in the quiver. And you get one arrow that comes out. So you can actually take that out if you want to use it. But it sits in there as well. Just stand by. He's got a bow. It looks like yeah, there's a little thing sticking out here. Oh, take it out of privacy bar there. Looks like that will let the bow. Oh, yeah. Look at how nicely that just clips in right there. So you don't have to store that anywhere else because he can carry it around with him. Two swords. Short and long. Once again, the two sheaths, a short and a long. So they can go right in there on his back. And then finally, this is basically the rest of his belt. I'm going to take off this uh, real quick. I'll show you exactly where that hole is, too. Right there. It goes through even the um, strap on his back. But right here, there's this little ball sticking off the back of his belt. So you can sort of show that, indeed, it's tied off like a actual cloth belt right there. Comes out quite nicely. And we can put... His quiver and his sword sheaths and his bow back on his back. Look at that. He's carrying his own arsenal. These uh, throwing stars don't come off, but that's so super cool. I will spend more time posing them because I just wanted to give you a review. But as you can see, he has incredible articulation. He's very nice and clean in terms of the paint and the color scheme, as he should be to offset the very deep black of snake eyes. Uh, it comes with a weapons arsenal. It comes with an extra hood if you really want it. Uh, which probably would look pretty cool. Man, this is a buy. <laughs> I love, I love, uh, I love the classified series. I love the villains that they have. Um, and I love that Snake Eyes Nemesis Storm Shadow is finally here. Um, it looks, I, I didn't really go over this. So I apologize. Looking at his hands. Looks like he's got um, trigger fingers, which he doesn't really have a gun. But as you notice there, those are like fingers for a bow to hold back a string. So that's awesome. And these hands both could hold the swords quite nicely. Let's just put those in his hands. Why not? Why not give him some swords? Okay, they're kind of stiff. So that's why not right now. <laughs> but I will. I will. Trust me. This is Storm Shadow. And he's awesome. And he's got everything you would want in a ninja for Cobra. And I am telling you right now, go out and find him. It looks like he's starting to show up in stores. He is a buy. G.I. Joe Classified series. Uh, they've been doing great work with the sculpts and the articulation and the accessories. So I'm really happy for it. I am Mark here at Mark's Toy Box. I'm going to try and keep making more videos for you so that my stack of toys shrinks because I want them open. Thanks so much for checking this out, and we'll see you next time.